I would like to take this time and thank my subscribers for tuning in. Those who are new to the channel, please smash that subscribe button for further info and updates. Connection TV, the people's choice for hot topics. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about cups light up 3,000 ganja trees. But before we get into this, I would advise my viewers to go get yourself a nice glass of kool-aid with a couple ice cubes as we get into this story here so acting off of a tip a team of police went to santa cruz like in gasparilla or on gasparilla and acting on the tip they found over three thousand are talking about 3,000 adult ganja trees or well-grown ganja trees and also some dried out ganja trees they are claiming that upon finding these ganja trees they outrooted them and burned them to the ground well this story is kind of tricky because if they're honest police then they burn all the ganja trees to the ground but if they're not what do you think they could be doing do you really think that they burn all of these trees or did they take some for themselves the story kind of leads you to question if it's true or not because it sounds like a beautiful story, eh? they found 3,000 ganja trees, wow, and they burned it to the ground, and that's the end of it. They didn't find nobody on these on the ganja field to arrest. They're still asking for people to, if they have any tip to give them, give them so that they can find who planted these trees. But at the same time, it's like, so they stand there and watch all, cut down all 3,000 trees and burn that in a day. How long they take to do that is the question. And did they burn all? And trust me, 3,000 trees, if you burn 3,000 ganja trees and you standing around that, you would have the highest high. You'll be on cloud nine. Or more so this is what leads me to to the questioning and i would like my followers and subscribers to write in the comment section and let me know what they think do i really think that these police burn all of these ganja trees or they didn't allegedly hopefully they did what they say they did they burned down the trees and got rid of it so that it won't cause no problems when people selling these drug, these ganja and wouldn't raise the mood at all by people fighting over it and hopefully they're not crooked cups because trust me crooked cups they already know when they watch certain movies they, they show you already cups will find something and tell you they find this amount they could have find five thousand they tell you they find three thousand they could tell you they burn them all really and truly they pocket some who knows But I would like to hear in the comment section what y'all think about this situation. What y'all think? What all you really think? Do all you really believe to your heart that these police burn them all? Did they really do the right thing? Or y'all just thinking this is a fabricated story that they're saying? Let me know what you think in this comment section. And as you can see in Trinidad and Tobago, there's many other ganja fields, many. In all these forest areas and stuff like that, there's many ganja fields. Because nowadays people rather, or youths rather, plant ganja instead of planting peas, corn, watermelon and all these extra stuff. Because they find it's extra work for them. And also they don't get the amount of money they could get off a of ganja. 
you probably have to sell a whole bunch of potatoes and a whole bunch of bananas and all these other things and people just like a quick fix they could off of a ganja tree they can make a whole lot of money so right here is millions of dollars burned to the ground millions of dollars so whoever planted this took a big loss a big loss very big loss they would have been better off planting regular vegetables maybe they would have still had the vegetables there but as you can see in Trinidad and Tobago nobody went to do a regular job everybody want most people want to just the easy life and when i say most i'm just saying the youths and them nowadays the mentality the, the thinking in the head i ain't believing the adults because some of the adults and them really working the nine to five and doing what they're supposed to do to provide for their family but this is what we need to tell the youths and them don't go into this type of li lifestyle and and deciding to go and plant illegal stuff so that you'll go to jail mess up your record you ain't even around for your kids and stuff like that and plus you ain't endangering your life because in this drug field it's a lot of things come with it jail losing your life your family losing their life a lot of things it's very very risky so whenever youths pick up this lifestyle they're already put their life on the chopping block and they can lose their life any day that's why they say the fast life comes and go very fast whatever you get fast will go fast whatever you take time to make will take time to go so that's why i will urge the youths and them to pick up this lifestyle because if you're you're planting this for somebody and you come and tell them police come and burn all that they might not even believe you and you might be telling the truth and guess what they'll take your life just thinking that you messed up and they don't believe what you say so people don't choose that lifestyle do something better and hopefully the police and them did the right thing and they didn't pocket anything if you're new to this channel let's hit the subscribe button and if you already subscribed i thank each and every one of you for always tuning in and supporting the channel trini connection tv as we'll continue to bring you the best news just lay back rock back and enjoy as we bring you the daily news thanks for tuning in with trini connection tv like and subscribe if you're new to the channel smash that subscribe button for further info and updates.